Okay, my name is James Isalas. I'm 57 years, 58 years old almost. I, uh, I was born in Chicago. I was raised in San Diego. I come from a broken home, a dysfunctional family. I grew up on the streets. I was arrested at the age of 10 for extortion. I've been drugging and thugging for all of my life, doing the devil's work. I, uh, I got to a point in my life after serving 30 years in prison, 30 years of my 58 years I've been in prison, 20 in the state under two different numbers and 10 in the feds. I got out in 2018, I spent 30 years of my life in prison, it's crazy, huh? I, uh, and I still hadn't learned, man. I still hadn't learned, but you know what? When I was in prison, before I got out of the feds, I, I went to church every day, I started to read the book. And that book changed my perspective on life. I, um, I, began, I got deep in the Word. I've been rooted in the Word, but I got deep into it. And you know what? The Lord blessed me. He blessed me because I got out, and pretty soon I was making $16,000 a month as a plumber for a plumbing company. I had a girlfriend who nearly destroyed me. She was the most beautiful woman I'd ever been with, but the ugliest person I ever met in my life. She was just a terrible person on the inside. She gave me the abortion of another man's baby on my birthday, and that nearly took me down. And, and through all of this trials and tribulations, you know what? The Lord blessed me, gave me the strength, the wisdom, the discipline, the discernment to push forward and get a good job and make good money. I bought a car, I bought her a ring. But after I got on top, I, I lost sight of the Lord. You know, I thought it was me. Oh, this is all me, I'm doing it. Nah, man, I lost sight of what blessed me, and that was Father God. And when this woman did that to me, um, I cried out to him, and he purified my heart immediately. I forgot about her, I forgave her, and I moved on. To make a long story short, I then started drug dealing again, you know, backsliding, because of how I was unstable, I had quit my job. And it led me to this point here where I just threw my hands up and said I couldn't do it no more. I met this girl who I knew was God's gift to me. Just off her name. Her name is Mercy. God's mercy on me. And I love this woman. She's, she's not the most beautiful woman I've ever been. I mean the prettiest woman, but she's beautiful on the inside. Loving, caring, Christian, respectful. Just loving, very supportive. And... Uh, I love her with all of my heart. I'm thankful for her. And she told me, James, you're a mess. You're going to a program. And here I am. So I went to a program, House of Metamorphosis. Uh, I got kicked out of there in 30 days. I got aggressive with one of the uh, guys that I seen trying to preach. And I seen him smoking uh, spice in the bathroom. So I called him on it, and he politicked him against me and got me out of there. That's neither here nor there. God didn't want me there. God wanted me here at Miracle Mountain. When I came here, I threw my hands up and said, Lord, I can't do it no more. What do you want me to do? But see, when I got here, the pastors we got here, Pastor Miles, Pastor Thomas, Pastor Jonathan, Pastor Lewis, God bless each and every one of you. I love you guys. Pastor Thomas is like a father to me. He's very stern with me, very direct, no nonsense. So neither is <laughs> Pastor Jonathan. He's not a nice guy either. I mean, he's a nice guy, but he's not. He knows how to. He knows how to get his point across to you. But the one that really taught me how to how to ask God to change me was Pastor Miles, my brother. Pastor Miles taught me that James, you can't do it on your own. You have to ask God, and I asked God to purify my heart, unlock my mind from the things I've learned in the world, and to come inside, baptize me with the Holy Spirit for the furtherance of His will, not mine. I've always been a proud man. I like to dress nice, always have money, women, fast cars. None of that matters anymore. What matters is I get to spread the gospel, the gospel of Jesus. I get to work with kids, kids that I may have affected by selling dope somewhere along the line. I just, I tell you, man, I'm a gang member. I've been in prison 30 years, and I've never felt more complete in my life until I came to Miracle Mountain. Uh, it's that Miracle Mountain tap water. That's what you want. It's a beautiful thing, man. You come up here, if you come up here, 
and you open your mind after, after years of layers of doing dirt, and just open your mind. Ask God to come in your heart, man, and he'll show you. Day by day, you will die unto yourself, and a new part of you will regrow. You know, I, it's, I can't explain it, man. I pray, and I, I just find myself crying, tears coming down my face, purging all that bad stuff out, you know? It's beautiful, man, and I thank God. I know he's there, I know he loves me, and I know he's always gently landed me on my feet. Because in reality, doing what I've done and being where I've been, I shouldn't be alive today. It's by his good grace and mercy. Come to Miracle Mountain.